Hey, 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 I'm Al Cavadlo, and you are watching Ask Al. Today's first question comes from David, who says, Hey, 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 Al, I'm 44 and have MS. My doc is telling me to lay off the intense workouts and do more cardio, though I could see myself doing calisthenics into my 60s. What are your thoughts on calisthenics and getting older? Keep up the great work. Hey, 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 David. First things first. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to try to give you medical advice. But your doctor isn't the trainer, and it sounds like he probably doesn't even work out. Now, I'll tell you, I've worked with some clients who have MS, and strength training is one of the best things that people with MS can do. It's really one of the best things that people can do even if they don't have MS. And if you're feeling good doing calisthenics, continue doing it into your 60s and beyond. Next question comes from Witty Whitaker, who says, Hey, 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 Al, what do you think about working out when you're still feeling full after a meal? Maybe even if it's a couple of hours after you had it, is it best to wait until the feeling of fullness has passed? Thanks. Hey, 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 Witty. Yes, it is best to wait until that feeling of fullness has passed. And like you said, if you had a fairly big meal, that could take a few hours. And that's part of why I personally like to train in the morning before I've eaten anything. I like the feeling of being on an empty stomach. It's a good way to start my day. And by getting it done in the morning, there's less chance of me getting derailed if something comes up during the day. So if your schedule allows for it, try to get your training in in the morning. Next question comes from Balint, who says, Hey, 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 Al. How often do you go to the gym? Thanks. Hey, 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 my friend, though I like to practice calisthenics almost every single day, I hardly ever go to the gym. If you've been following my stuff, you know I prefer to train outdoors at a local park or, barring that, in my own living room. Now, as a personal trainer, I do have some clients that I see in the gym, and the other day I happened to get there a little bit early, and while I was waiting for my client, this happened. Yeah. Now that was the first time I tried picking up a barbell in a few years, and it just goes to show that the strength you build from body weight has great carryover into any sort of strength training. Next question comes from Asif, who says, Hey, hey, I, I want to ask you that can you make a video about workout routine? Come on, Asif. Only two hey hey's, but in all seriousness, I've made lots of videos about workout routines. Google is your friend. Last question before I sign off is from Martin, who says, you should try braiding your beard. Okay. <laughs> well, that's all the time I've got for this episode of Ask Al. Keep leaving me questions and comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. Till next time. I'm Al Cavadlo, and we're working out.